My name is Sylvester Nyamaliji. You're welcome to Sun Mind for Positive Life. Today I want to share with you from Colossians chapter 3 and verse 1. Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you will, you also will, will appear with him in glory. Now, these four verses changed my life. Because they, they show me how to relate my knowledge and understanding about the mind, how our thoughts affect us to manifest in the life of Jesus. And I begin to see why God began to teach me about the power of thoughts, showing me how our lives are influenced by our thoughts, the words we speak, the decisions we make are based on our thoughts, the choices we make, the actions we manifest, the behavioral patterns of each man are all products of our thoughts, our desires, and so on and so forth. Now, when I came to this passage, Reading what Paul, the apostle, wrote to the Colossian church, it became clear that God wants me to change the picture in my head so that I stop seeing myself as a mere man and start seeing myself as a son of God. Now, I now understood that the reason why I have been struggling in my life was because I wasn't seeing myself as a son of God. And I was only seeing myself as a man. And when you see yourself as a man, you are limited. When you see yourself as a man, you come under oppression of the enemy because you do not believe that truly you can live above them. You can excuse all the things that happens in your life, make excuses for them and so on. But when you now begin to see yourself as a son of God, you open up the door of your spirit. The life of Christ starts flowing. The authority starts manifesting. The power starts flowing. You're no longer afraid of the devil. You're not afraid of difficult situations. You're not afraid of Satan. You know, sin loses its power because you don't see yourself as a sinner. You don't see yourself as one who is weak. You see yourself as one who is strong. There's something I want you to know. You see, the life of a man, uh, the human life, is full of weaknesses and also has got some strength. But it appears as if the weaknesses always dominate us. But you see, the life of a son of God, there is no weakness, only strength. So if I focus on the human life, on the natural life of a man, the weaknesses will always manifest. But when I focus on the supernatural life, then I will only manifest the strength of Christ, the strength that this life gives me. Now look at what Colossians says again. It says, since then you have been raised with Christ. If indeed you have accepted him and been raised with him. It says, set your hearts on things above and where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your hearts on things above. Let your heart be focused on where Christ is seated. Let your hearts be focused on where Christ is seated. Let your hearts be focused there. Focus on where he's seated. Where is that? At the right hand of God. The authority and the power of God is with him. So I am in Christ. I am seated with him. I am part of the body. You are part of the body. The church is the body of Christ. And we are seated with him at the right hand of God. You know, and that is the highest truth, the highest authority in the universe. And so we are there, and the devil is under our feet, and all the problems of life is under our feet. And so everything is far below us. Satan is far below, sickness is far below, diseases are far below, joblessness, name it, monetary problems, whatever problems you, you go through, we go through in life as humans, they are all far below. And so set your heart there. So he wants me to focus on the life that comes from heaven, not on the earthly life. He wants me to focus on the supernatural life that Jesus gives me. He wants me to focus on the authority that comes with that life. He wants me to focus on the power that that life produces. This is very important. 
Then the next verse, he says, set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. That means he wants me not to be thinking on earthly things. He doesn't want me to think like a normal human being. He doesn't want me to think like an earthly person. He doesn't want me to allow the, the, you know, my thoughts to, to be that what used to be before when I didn't know Christ. He wants me to think like a son of God. He wants me to think of myself as a son of God. I set my mind on things above. I focus on the life from above. I focus on the authority from above. I focus on the power that comes from above. I see myself as a son of God all the time. I see the devil under my feet. I see Satan under my feet. I see sickness under my feet. I see problems of life under my feet. I'm above them all. Jesus overcame them for me. And I'm reigning in life. I see myself as a king, like the scripture says. I see myself as a priest, like the scripture says. I see myself as an ambassador of Christ, like the scripture says. So you see, I see myself the way God sees me. That's why I said, set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. I stop seeing as it were with the eyes of man, but with the eyes of God. I look at people with the eyes of God. I look at people with the eyes of Christ. I look at people with the eyes of a man who is up there, not down here. So when problems come my way, I don't look at it like a mere man. I look at it like a son of God. When the devil rises against me, I don't panic like I used to because I don't think like I used to. I don't see him as I used to. I see him from my position, exalted position at the right hand of God. That's my mindset. So if I think like a man, I'm going to respond like a man. I'm going to panic like a man. I'm going to feel like a man. I'm going to behave like a man. And at the end of the day, the result will be defeat and failure. Change your thoughts. Then look at the next verse. It says, for you die. That's the reason why I want you to do this. You die, then your life is now hid with Christ in God. You are now a child of God. You are, your, the sinful nature died. The old man died. The weakling died. The fearful one died. The one who is alive now is Christ Jesus. Now verse 4 says, when Christ who is your life shall appear, you too will appear with him in glory. So my life is the life of Christ. When Christ who is my life, not who is in my life, he didn't say who is in my life, but who is my life. So Christ is my life. Christ is your life if you believe in Jesus. So when I look at myself, I shouldn't see a man. I shouldn't see a son of man. I should see a son of God. I see everything that is in Christ. I see the authority of Christ. I see the power of Christ. So what cannot happen to Jesus cannot happen to me. If the devil cannot defeat Jesus, the devil cannot defeat me. If Jesus lived above sin, then I will live above sin because it's the same life. I share his life with him. So it's not me that lives, but Christ that lives. So if the devil can't cage him, the devil can't cage me. If the devil cannot bind him, the devil cannot bind me. What cannot happen to him will not happen to me. Believe that. Change your mindset. Fear will disappear. And you will walk in authority. You will walk in power. You will walk in victory. And your life will be celebrated. God bless you.